Hey guys, welcome to art class. Um, I wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed getting all of your gumball machines and your layered cakes. I loved getting those. I thought I saw a lot of you put so much creativity into them and use lots of different things to make your gumballs. And we had so many creative cakes, so I appreciate all the hard work that you've been doing at home. This week we're going to do something super simple. We're going to do a honeybee. Um, and I have one right here. In your packet I gave you, there is a um, there are directions for a honeybee and then there's a drawing guide for a very simple honeybee. And this project is based off of a book called The Honeybee by Kristen Hall. Maybe when everything reopens you can check it out at the library. Maybe some of you have it at your home. Anyways, the cartoon um, B that I've drawn is stylized like the characters in the book. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the importance of honeybees. And that's one reason I picked this project. Honeybees are so important because they help pollinate fruits, flowers, trees, vegetables. And by pollinate, they help with the production of seeds for those plants. So they're very important to us and the trees that help us breathe and the flowers that are so beautiful for us to see and the food we eat. Honeybees are very important. Now another reason I picked this is because I love honeybees. They're my favorite insect. And one reason for that is because they remind me of my great grandfather. He's the only grandfather that I really knew and he was a honeybee farmer. He had over a hundred beehives and he sold his honey. I remember being a little girl, going to his house, he lived in North Carolina, going, seeing the beehives, seeing him with the net and the hat on his head, and seeing the little smoker that he had to keep the bees away from him. And he would always give us lots of jars of honey. And inside of the jar, it would be this beautiful gold, amber, thick honey, with the honey pieces of the honeycomb inside. And that was the best honey. We would take it home and we would pour it all over hot biscuits or pancakes, waffles, and I still love honey. I usually put it on waffles or I'll put it on my peanut butter sandwiches. I even put it on my salads, I love it. So honeybees remind me of my great grandfather. And that's another reason I picked this. Do you like honey? Is there anything that you um, like to put honey on, maybe? So you can think about that, how important honeybees are to us when you're doing this project. In your packet, I included a couple links for you, just some videos that I found on YouTube that I thought were cool. One, it has lots of facts about honeybees, and the other one was really neat. It was how to build a garden that honeybees would want to come to and drink from, and it was called How to Build a Honeybee Cafe. And that one was very interesting. I learned a lot from watching that. Anyways, the directions for this project are super simple. Uh, the supplies you need are minimal. You just need paper, uh, two sheets of paper, one to draw your honeybee on, and one for a background. Now you can just use one sheet of paper and draw everything on the same sheet of paper, and that's fine. I didn't do that though because I used some chalks and oil pastels, and I thought that if I put chalks and oils on my honeybee, I might end up getting it on my background. So I drew, it, drew my honeybee on a separate sheet of paper, but that's totally up to you. So I have drawing paper right here, and then I picked um, some paper for the background. Now, in retrospect, I would probably pick a different color for my background. I'm not too happy with this bright pink, but I wanted a big sheet of paper, and all that I had at my house were these neon poster boards. So it's a little bit bright. I wish I had like a light lavender or something to put my bee against. But anyways, I went with what I had. Now, in the packet I gave you, there's a step-by-step -step how to draw a guide of a very simple honeybee stylized after the character in this book, The Honeybee. And you can just follow the little steps and you'll end up with a little honeybee that kind of looks like this. All right, just draw it out very simply. Um, and <clears throat> then you're gonna color it. Now, I used oil pastels and crayons. Just something simple, black crayons, oil pastels. I've got a yellow oil pastel right here. Super simple. If you don't have oil pastels, you could just use a yellow crayon too. The oil pastels have a little bit of a brighter 
color and they have more sheen to them if you have those on hand. So for my B, I colored alternating stripes of black and yellow, making sure that my face was black and that the end of the B was black as well. <clears throat> now I drew that on a separate sheet of paper, cut it out, and glued it to my background. And on the background, I just decided to look at some of the illustrations in the book and make some flowers kind of in the same style. I went with different colors in the book. There's lots of yellows and oranges and pinks. I wanted my flowers to have some lavender and mint color. And then I just drew some other little flowers um, that I saw and some leaves, just little basic cartoon flowers. Now I used chalks for that to draw my um, flowers over here. They kind of remind me of pansies. And I used that for these flowers right here. For my leaves, I used oil pastels. Like I said, I wish that I would have went with a light sheet of paper, maybe just white. I think it would have made all of my flowers pop more. But anyways, I went with what I had. Um, after you glue or cut your bee out and glue him down to your background, then you'll add your six legs, because he's an insect, and your two antennas, and your wings. Now, if you're drawing all of this on the same sheet of paper, of course you would just draw all of those extra things on the bee right there. You would draw your wings, your antenna, and your legs on the same sheet of paper. But for me, I didn't want my wings to be pink, so I drew them and cut them out of a white sheet of paper and glued them behind my bee. Like I said, this project is super simple. Just follow the drawing guide and have fun with it. You don't have to put flowers in um, the background of your picture if you don't want to. I did because bees and flowers go together um, the nectar that they drink helps them make that honey that I love, so I put that together. But some of you might want to draw a beehive. Some of you might want to draw other bees around this bee. Inside of a beehive you have a queen bee, you have lots of worker bees, female and male bees called drones. Maybe you want to draw a, your bee with a friend, or maybe you want to draw it with some other insects. It's really totally up to you. I just want to see a very big honeybee somewhere in your picture and some type of creative background. Thanks so much, and I'm looking forward to getting the pictures that your parents are going to send me of your bee. I love you guys, and I miss you.